information that you and I both uh, both love. Mm -hmm. um, and in his book, he says this: a code system is always the result of a mental process. It requires an intelligent origin or inventor. Mm -hmm. It should be emphasized that matter, as such, is unable to to generate any code. All experiences indicate that a thinking being voluntarily exercising his own free will, cognition, and creativity is required. Right. He goes on to say, there is no known law of nature, no known process, and no known sequence of events which can cause information to originate by itself in matter. Right. This is why Professor Richard Dawkins, one of the most renowned advocates of the theory of evolution of our day, hesitates when he is asked to give a single example that increases the genetic information. Professor Dawkins, can you give an example of a genetic mutation or an evolutionary process which can be seen to increase the information in the genome? truth is very evident. Life has such a complex design that can never come about by chance. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry and molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer. Wait a second. What? Richard Dawkins thought intelligent design might be a legitimate pursuit? Richard Dawkins is his name. Uh, arguably the world's most famous atheist. I don't know how you would test for that, but uh, maybe we'll ask him. So, uh, right off the bat, what's wrong with, in your opinion, with believing in a god, regardless of who the god is? I think it's false. Uh, I think that it's um, a matter of belief without evidence. And I suppose it's possible that you might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the detail, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer. Wait a second. Richard Dawkins thought intelligent design might be a legitimate pursuit? Um, and that designer could well be a higher intelligence from elsewhere in the universe. In the 20th century, the theory of evolution was refuted not only by molecular biology, but also by paleontology. That is, fossil science. A second proof usually offered is the fossil record. According to most biology textbooks, fossils show the gradual development of life from simple to complex over...